Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, this is not going to be one of my normal Let's Play videos. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the add-on that is um, Plastic Craft. So anyways, it's a pretty cool add-on. As you can see, this is a microwave oven. Probably my either my favorite or second favorite addition that this add-on lets you, let you build. And this goes hand-in-hand -hand with this as possibly my favorite, Night Vision Goggles. So I'm going to show you how to build these two things, show you how to craft those two things, as well as every other add-on that Plastic Craft gives you. I'm really liking this add-on. We're going to start out by the basic things. Um, probably the most basic things you can make is taking wooden plank and place it into the crafting square, and it will give you wooden flour, wood flour. And another of the staples of this, this uh, add-on that I've seen so far is to take a wooden bowl, and then a, either a raw pork chop, but leather from killing cows also works. You place it on top of it, and you get a bowl of gelatin. And then you can place that bowl of gelatin inside the microwave. And the microwave cooks it a decent amount faster and uses different materials to cook with, so it's pretty refreshing. And you can, it cooks up gelatin powder. So gelatin powder and wooden flour are going to be staples of just about every recipe that you're that you're building with this uh, with this uh, add-on so here is mold uh, a mold and the way to create that is if you were to put cobblestone there there and there just one cobblestone I don't have any in my inventory right now but basically imagine those are cobblestone and place those and it will create one of these molds and in order to continue on the building process what you do is you take one of those molds put it in the bottom throw a gelatin powder in the middle and throw a wooden flower on top wood flour on top and it creates a filled mold and you take that filled mold and you throw that in the microwave oven slowly but surely it will create a plastic ball two plastic balls actually and those are probably from what I've seen these are probably the most important thing in this build so alright let's continue on what you can do is uh, I apologize if these are going kind of slowly every once in a while I'm going to have to window out or uh, cut the video out and relook at these uh, recipes there's quite a few additions to this mod so what you can do is you could take a plastic bucket and a plastic bucket is you take a plastic ball one two three I'm not going to create it because I already have four plastic buckets but you get the general idea and to create a clear plastic ball you just simply put a plastic ball inside the crafting square and let me grab a bunch of these because you do need these in other recipes as well so I'm going to grab up probably 30 of these but these are clear plastic balls and you use those quite a bit as well so um, you take a plastic milk bucket you know right click a cow it gives you milk and um, let's see you take just a second alright I was wrong on that I'm sorry um, you actually take a bucket of water. You can do plastic bucket or an iron bucket. It doesn't eat the bucket, so you don't have to worry about that. Put a gelatin powder in the middle, put a sugar on top, and it gives you jello. And jello you can right click and it gives you um it gives you three three hearts, I think. And from that you can also create kind of the same thing as a cake. And whereas you can fill up the crafting square with a jello. It becomes a block of jello. It's much like a cake. You can right click it on the ground, although I'm not going to, and eat it the same way as a cake. And if you don't want the and it's a good way to store it as well, just like um taking taking iron and putting it all in the crafting square to create an iron block. And you can reverse the process just as easily. So that's good. They don't seem to stack properly though, but that's okay. Alright, another thing we can make. You see this is the tap right here. And to get that you take plastic balls and stack them one, two, three in the crafting square, and it creates a tap. And what you do with this tap is you throw it on a tree, and since we got daylight coming, I can do it without you being blinded. I do have it on peaceful because I don't want any monsters to disrupt this small tutorial on how to use plastic craft. No thanks. So we come out here and we find a tree. Apparently I cut every tree in the forest down. My mini map is acting up as well. It's kind of disturbing, but it's okay. Right clicking on the tree, and from that you use a... Perfect, it works. So you use a tap, and it gives you a plastic latex bucket. And this bucket, you take it and you throw it inside a furnace, or in my case, the microwave oven I've been using. 
and it gives you two rubber balls, I believe. Um, a lot of these recipes I've never used before, so this is just as much a tutorial for myself as it is for you. So, pretty much my biggest draw to this um, this add-on was the um, the night vision goggles. I was really excited to use those, and then and then to crush the person who made this modification for the game also added a microwave oven in the last patch. So it's two rubber balls and I'll be using those in a later recipe. Alright, let me show you a few things so far that you can do with clear plastic balls. You can do like so and it creates a plastic bottle and from that plastic bottle you can take a plastic milk bucket or an iron milk bucket put it in the middle, put a plastic bottle on the bottom and it creates a milk, blo milk bottle. You can also um, fill up these bottles with water I believe and you can drink them from there, let's see, as well as you can take plastic balls, one on top of the other, and you can create plastic sticks. And these plastic sticks, if you right click, pretty much the same way as you would make another item in the game, or from the original game, and you can put a plastic ball on top, and create a plastic shovel, a shovel excuse me. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else can you do? You can take clear plastic ball, and I believe, yes, I mean, I'm going to make quite a bit of this, but you stack them one, two, three sideways. I'm going to make quite a bit of it because I know I use this material on some other builds. You can create synthetic sting, uh, synthetic string, yeah. So I'm going to grab all that up. You can take that synthetic string, you can throw it inside the crafting square, like so, and it creates a synthetic block. I've already created three, or creates synthetic fiber rather. I've already created three of them for future building purposes. All right, show you another recipe. You can take plastic balls and you can throw them in the crafted square like so and create a plastic block. Four balls equals a block. And then let me show you what else we can build. You can take that synthetic fiber. You can throw one, two, three. Actually, I need redstone. Let me grab one of the redstone from my from my crafty or from my microwave oven. And we are full on material, so I'm just going to throw away that wood what is that called that wooden dust and here we go you throw three plastic boxes on the bottom three synthetic fibers up top you throw a redstone in the middle and you surround that by two irons and it creates silicon chip silicon chip is pretty important in some of your other builds you need it for night vision goggles you need it for a few other things so it's pretty important to build that if you take a plastic ball and you put it inside the microwave oven it creates a plastic goo which can be used for other builds as well so you see I already had one and I'm gonna go ahead and build another synthetic fiber like so and according to the recipe let me double check this real quick Alright, according to the recipe, you put a rubber ball on the other side at the top, you throw in synthetic fiber in the middle, and you take this plastic goo, you throw it at the bottom, and you create a roll of duct tape, two rolls of duct tape. There is no use for this yet, but to crush has plans for it, quite definitely. You take synthetic string, you throw three in the middle, and you get a plastic wrap. Once again, this has no uses as of now, but in the future it should. Alright, we got some glowstone dust here. You take a plastic stick, put it on either side, and you throw a glowstone dust in the middle, and it creates a glow stick. This is pretty much the same properties as a torch, but from I haven't used one, but from what I hear, yep, yeah, gives quite a bit more, you know, more radius of light. I actually think I'm going to start using those more often. That's pretty pretty convenient. It's pretty bright. So, and it doesn't emit any of the smoke like a torch does. Not that that's a big deal. Alright, you take some of them more of that plastic goo I was talking about. And you take four of them and create a gooey plastic block. Now let's try this thing out. Supposedly it acts like um much the same as quicksand. I've never tried it before. And that it will slow mobs down when they're walking through them. It looks like it. Yep. It creates quite a bit slower movement speed. So theoretically you could surround your house with a bunch of these. Theoretically, you could surround your house with a bunch of these as more of a defensive measure to take, which is pretty awesome. All right, this next recipe I've been very much looking forward to trying. Haven't haven't tried it yet, so this would be just as much of a shock to me as it is to you. 
So you take four of those plastic blocks, and you take sulfur on all the corners, and then if you throw a silicon chip in the middle, it creates a fucking C4 explosive. Alright, I gotta see this. I haven't tried it yet, so it should be fun. Let's, um, since we're getting nighttime, let's throw our night vision on, get a little bit brighter. Awesome. Okay, where should I put this bad boy? We're going to throw it right in here and see what happens. It has twice the length. Oof. Wow! Wow! Are you kidding me? That's amazing! I knew it was a bigger explosion, but I wasn't expecting this crater. <laughs> Oh, that is such an awesome addition. That is amazing. All right. Let's go test out some other recipes. I guess we can do it through the night since I'm on um, Peaceful. Shouldn't be a problem. That is... Wow, that was amazing. Standing ovation on that recipe right there. That was great. Okay, I had to go fly around and um, collect some more hides to make some more plastic balls real quick. So we're on the next night cycle. But I guess it's inconsequential. Okay. Let me show you how to make plexiglass. You take clear plastic balls, drop it in a square shape, it creates plexiglass. And I've got a bunch of it so far, so I will show you how to make a plexiglass door. And there you go. Three on three. These doors are immune to explosions. I've never used one before, much like the rest of this. However, you have to keep in mind, just because the door is immune to explosions doesn't mean the block underneath it is. So if you're going to place it, make sure you place a plastic block underneath it or a plexiglass block underneath it. Otherwise, the door is going to, I believe it will disappear anyway. And no protection because it's not on top of, you know, an explosion-proof surface. So keep that in mind. All right, we are on to the night vision goggles. And let me show you how to make those real quick. First of all, let's get a few more clear plastic balls because we need to create two more plexiglass to make this happen. So what you do is you get those and then you take the plexiglass, put it in the middle and you surround it by glowstone dust and it creates glowing plexiglass which is awesome. And let's see if I remember this correctly. You take the glowing plexiglass and surround it by plastic ball and it creates a goggle which is awesome. And last but not least, you take those goggles and put them on either side and throw a silicon chip in the middle and it creates night vision goggles, which is so cool. And I believe I busted mine up. Uh, I was flying when I was jumping off my horse prematurely. They do have a durability. Keep that in mind when you're using them. They do have durability. Oh, here we go. So they're not destroyed, but they are getting there. So I did, in fact, need these extra night vision goggles. I'll keep these around. Yeah, they can get destroyed, so keep that in mind. All right, let's talk to you. Let me talk to you about this uh, microwave oven real quick. I don't have all the materials I need to make this. I only have um, two iron. You need four iron to make it, so I'm just going to show you what you need to do. Following my cursor, you put a plastic block here, a plastic block here, glass here and glass there on either side. You throw iron on the four corners, and um, what did you put in the middle? I think it's a silicon chip in the middle. Yeah, silicon chip in the middle, and it creates a microwave oven. This thing can be powered by four different fuels. It can be powered by, first of all, you can use uh, netherrack, bloodstone. You can use that, and it acts just as wood. It gives a 15 second, 15 second burnable. You can throw redstone in there, and that lasts two minutes as opposed to a minute 20 that coal lasts so it's more efficient and the microwave oven um, cooks things faster so you can also put glowstone in there glowstone works just as well and then glowstone um, powers it for four minutes however if you are looking to get your the, I guess the equivalent of the equivalent of a bucket of lava that would fi uh, power a furnace for several minutes what you can do is you can, let's go to the inventory here, you can take iron, put three iron on top, and put one redstone on either side, three glowstone on the bottom, and throw a bucket of lava in the middle. 
And that recipe right there will create four batteries. And those batteries, each, each battery will power this microwave oven for 21 minutes, which is absolutely awesome. So you can, um, and um, considering that recipe builds four of them, I'd say that's um, pretty convenient right there. I don't use them just because I have plenty of redstone that I don't use, and it's left over and it's pretty convenient for me. So I just use redstone. But if I were to make a, a large, like, smooth stone building project or something like that, I would throw four microwave ovens here, throw a battery in each one, and start throwing full stacks down, and you can create hundreds before that stuff's gone. All right, and I believe I wanted to show you what a syringe looks like. You can you can make a syringe, and that is glass on either side. I don't think I have all the materials to build this right now, so let me look at the look at the plans real quick. All right, what you do is you put a clear plastic ball, one on the other side at the top. You throw a piece of glass on either side, and you throw a piece of iron at the bottom, and it creates a needle. It creates three of them, actually. Now, here's where I don't have the exact recipe for it yet. I believe for this, for a health syringe, which will fully heal you, I think it's the equivalent of a golden apple, you throw a needle at the bottom. From there, you throw a redstone dust on either side. And according to the chart, you throw a red flower in the middle, which I have some of, a rose. And at the very top requires an apple, and I can't find an apple. I haven't seen one for a while in this game, actually. But it requires an apple, and that will create a health syringe, which I believe, according to the chart, is a full heal, same as same as an apple or a golden apple. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's about it. I'm really loving this mod. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Let's get rid of this door. See how destructible these are. Ah, that that comes down pretty quick as well. That's very convenient. All right. Like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with this mod. Really creative. Props, big props to to Crush for creating it. I will provide a link to Plastic Cla Craft, excuse me, in the video description of this video. So I really hope you go check it out. It's a lot of fun. You're gonna enjoy it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.